Good evening ladies and gentlemen, it's Miss Quids again. In this video I'm going to be talking about the Pibo Coupe Flotilla, which is a case made for the Raspberry Pi. Quids specifically has a Raspberry 3B+, this can also be used with a Raspberry Pi 3. Pibo case is made by Pi Maroni, which is the Sheffield based company that made the bearables kit which I have reviewed in a previous video. So let's have a look at this case and what it comes with. So you can see upon opening the case uh, there are some instructions as to what to do but it's all really straightforward. And it comes with various different layers and also some nuts and bolts. If I just take these apart you can see the nuts and bolts in the separate packet and also the different layers. So how this all fits together is that you have numbered layers and actually I noticed that although most of the layers are numbered this top one doesn't seem to have a number on it, correct me if I'm mistaken, um, but what you have is you have layers 0, 1 and 2, so this is 0, this is 1 and this is 2 and you put them on top of each other like that and then you have the pie which sits nicely here. And then you have number three that goes nicely on top of that and then the top layer and it all sits together nicely. And as you can see there is a hole for the heat sink so you are not held back by heating issues. So this is just to show how all the component parts fit together. If you're going by the instructions step by step the first thing you need to do is to remove the protective backing from all of the layers. Here's one of the protective layers and I'll just show removing this one. I won't show all the other layers but uh, as you can see it's now very shiny. <laughs> as it says in the instructions, shiny! So now I'll remove the rest of the protective layers and then we can layer up all the different layers like we did before. While I was taking off all the protective layers and putting this together properly I noticed that on the top layer there are actually all of the pin numbers. Yeah that's that's quite good. The protective layers have now all been removed and putting this all together this is what it looks like. As you can see all of the ports are still accessible and it looks very nice and shiny so now I will just briefly show how we can use all the nuts and bolts to kind of secure this all together. And here I've just put one of the bolts through and they come with these plastic nuts as well so you can affix it and I'll do this with all four of these and then the case will be nice and secure. So it's kind of obvious now why it says to make sure that the numbers are aligned when you're putting this all together because otherwise getting these bolts through all the holes is kind of uh, fiddly so you need to make sure that everything is kind of all together and, and secure before you um, before you affix it all together so yeah I'll do that with the other three now. Now I should mention that a spanner was provided but I found that I didn't really need it. So yes this was an interesting designed case that protects the board, allows access to all the ports and also allows the CPU to be cooled at the same time. It's blue and shiny like the heatsink that Quids bought. Thanks for watching, I'll see you later.